It's already 81 degrees, and it's not even 10 o'clock yet. It's going to be a hot one today, so you know what? Let's not waste any time. Let's just head outside the mall real quick. Head over to Best Buy and then Barnes & Noble for some more of the Criterion Collection sales. And then I'm going to go see Spider-Man Far From Home a little bit later on today. Probably not going to find anything in Best Buy today. It was not a big release week, so... But you never know. You might find something in there. And by you might find something, that means I might find something, because obviously you can't be here right now. But, I mean, you never know. Today's one of those, is this is one of those types of weeks where anything's possible. You can find anything in there. There, I might actually find something interesting in here, because I did look on the Best Buy website, and they had some stuff on there that's in the store that I'm kind of curious about. So, we'll go ahead and see when once this opens up. It should be in about a couple more minutes. Uh, what do we have here? See, I knew they had this here. You know, I saw it last night on the Best Buy website, but I didn't think they actually had it in the store. 30 bucks, though. What's the offer? Hmm. Might have to, some decisions to make here. Alright, time for the ultimate test now. It looks like they have more copies here, so maybe... Looks like they have one that's not, that doesn't have the disc out. Sweet. I might actually pick this one up too. For 15 bucks, that's not a bad deal. This one's also a maybe. There you go, for the people who have been complaining that The Office is leaving Netflix in a couple of years. You can get this for 55 bucks. Yeah, I actually found a couple of steelbooks in there, so... First one I picked up was Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, which I already own on an Amazon exclusive Blu-ray combo pack, but this, this is the Best Buy exclusive steelbook. And they did not have this in here the last couple of times I've been in here. Like, the, they had three copies in there this time around. It was 30 bucks. I... I love this movie so much. I think this is right up there with my fa with my favorite movies of the decade. This actually might be my favorite film of the decade so far. Great movie, really great movie. Phil Lord and Chris Miller. I was so happy they got an Oscar for this movie because they've been some of the best directors of this decade. And this movie just was fantastic. It was a fantastic movie. It was a great spirit to the Spider-Man series of itself. And a gr it was just a great movie all around. The animation was spectacular. The comedy was great. The dramatic moments were very well done. This is a great movie, and I'm so happy that I got the this. I don't mind if I double dip on this one because I love this movie so much. I'm going to keep the Amazon exclusive one that I have in this one as well. Great movie, man. I love this movie a lot. I'm so happy I found that steelbook in there. <sighs> Trying to do this with one hand is tough, though. Uh, next up, I picked up the Bad Boys 1 and 2. 4k combo pack which was 15 bucks on steelbook and i already have this movie these movies on the 20th anniversary blu-ray sets which just that are just the regular blu-rays themselves but this is a steelbook set that has both the movies on here 15 bucks man for tw and originally it was 35 so that's a great deal on that i'll probably get rid of the one that the 20th anniversary box set that i have already this was this one i was really happy to get right here Fury, and the disc isn't moving around in there. They actually had a third copy in there, which they probably ordered in the last week. I love this movie. Seven bucks for this Blu-ray. I was so happy they actually had a copy that didn't have the disc moving around there, because that was just ridiculous last week. And this last one here, this one might be... I might. I don't know if I'm going to return this one or not, depending on whether or not it actually happened or not. I don't know if I got this on Steelbook, but... The Revenant, ten bucks for this, for the steelbook. I have this movie on regular edition. I know that, but I don't know if I swap that out for the steel for the steelbook that they had at Best Buy because I know that this has been around for a couple of years now, and I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I have this or not. I'd have to check when I get home. But you know, the wor worst comes to worst. If I had, if I already had this on steelbook, I just come back to Best Buy and return it. So. So that was 10 bucks. This whole thing was about 66 bucks for the whole thing, which 
honestly isn't all, all that bad, especially when you consider the Bad Boys box set was originally 35 bucks. So, I made out pretty good today. Have one more stop to go to, so let's head over to that place. And that place is Barnes & Noble. Let week two of the week of the 50% off Criterion Collection sales begin. And they have one of the things I was looking for here. Cronus, The Devil's Backbone, Pan's Labyrinth. Be 50 bucks for this. And also what to do about Mean Girls. Here are all the Criterions that are on sale. It'll be a while for me to go through all these again, but here we go. The first three sections done so far, I just have the Darjeeling Limited. I'm gonna check this next three rows now. I might actually get this one. One of my all-time favorite movies, Hoop Dreams. I already own this one, though. On, bl on both Blu-ray and DVD. they have this one on Blu-ray, but if they do, I'd like to get that one. Okay, about halfway through, this is some of the stuff that I found so far. There's other ones in here, but I'm going to hold off on those until next week, because I know there's going to be more copies, because there's more copies of them in here. These are the ones where I think there's just a couple of cop. there's just one copy of each, so. I'll let the switch continue then. Magnificent Ambersons. Time Bandits. I actually do want to get this one, but I'm already buying the Guillermo del Toro box set, so I think I might hold off till next week for this one. Night, Jacques Tati, Thief, Tin Drum, Twelve Angry Men, True Stories. Alrighty, guys, another big day at Barnes and Noble. I'll show you everything that I got in here. I'll start off with a book that I got, which was William Shakespeare's Much Ado About Mean Girls, which is like a parody of Mean Girls written in Shakespeare, written as a Shakespeare play. This one's uh, Much Ado About Nothing. There was another one he did that came out earlier this year, which was Get Thee Back to the Future, this author, which I thought was hilarious. I can't wait to read this one, too. It's written by the same guy. This was $12.99, but I had a 20% off coupon for one book, and that ended up being... Ended up being about 10 bucks for that one. I'll show you the criterions I got because, like I said, there are going to be other ones in here that, in this sale that I'm going to get over the next couple of weeks, but these ones I got because they had like one copy of them left. So, most of these are Wes Anderson movies because I really love his movies and I don't have most of the criterions for them on Blu ray. So, I picked, so first up, I picked up The Royal Tenon Bombs, great movie, and then The Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou. These are, and then, lastly, if I can get it out, <laughs> and lastly, I got the Darjeeling Limited, which a lot of people think this is probably one of his worst movies, but I don't know. I thought it was pretty good. Those were all 18. I picked up, th and then I picked up this, the original Godzilla from 1954. Those four, were tw those four each were 18. However, the big find of the day was this. Yep, the Guillermo del Toro trilogy. Featuring Kronos, The Devil's Backbone, and Pan's Labyrinth. Which they actually did have Pan's Labyrinth, which they actually did have Pan's Labyrinth in a single box set, but... I just had to get this one. It was really, it was 100, it was 45 after the... My 10% membership and the 50% off sale, so... Even though I didn't get as much as I got last week, I got just, I spent more than what I did last week, largely because of this right here. But I'm so glad I got that, so. Uh, let's see here. So yeah, there's World Tenenbaum's Life Aquatic, Godzilla and Darjeeling Limited, all 18, and then 45 for that. Spent about 135 bucks on that stuff, on that, so. And like I said, there's going to be a lot more movies. That, there's a lot more movies over there I do want to get, but I just didn't have it. 
time to get them, but I'm going to head back over to Hot Topic because they have that one thing in there that I wanted to get, and I have a 30% off coupon to use on that, so I'll go in there and show you what that was. So yeah, this was originally $12.50 at Hot Topic. If I could get the... There it is. It was originally $12.50, but I had a 30% off coupon, and this ended up being about $9.35 for, the, for it, which is actually not that bad, especially when you consider that Barnes & Noble didn't have this yet. I don't think this is out yet on Amazon or at GameStop, so... Yeah, it's a pretty cool pop figure. I'm Jim Henson with Carmen. That Lion King bucket is tempting. I might actually have to pick that up. Hey, wait, I'm still inside here. Oh, shut up! I had to get the shows in the theater because it was too dark, but I did end up getting that Lion King bucket. It was tw I think it was 12 bucks, but I had a Cinemark gift card, so basically it ended up being free. It's real nice. I really like it. Like, they had that one, they had the Dark Phoenix one, and then... I saw someone with the Far From Home one, but they didn't have that one up on the top there. I didn't know if they had it available to them or not, but... I love this one, though. I can't wait to see this movie a couple weeks from now. I love that Wonder Woman poster. I'm really looking forward to that movie. Wonder Woman 1984, which comes out next year. Really looking forward to that. I love that poster. It's got like a Thor Ragnarok type of vibe to it. So I just got out of Spider-Man Far From Home. I'm probably not going to do a first impressions video on it, but I will tell you, I really enjoyed this movie. I thought it started off kind of slow, but not as much as, the, as Captain Marvel did to start off with. There's definitely a lot of references to other movies in the MCU in this particular film, and it does make me kind of interested in seeing where they're going to go from here, because this is the official end of the Infinity Saga, and I'm really curious to see where it's going to go from here, because I think, my guess is that the next one's going to be Black Widow, maybe, but since they've already, they're already working on that movie right now, as we know of, but there's also going to be Doctor Strange 2, I think Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is coming after James Gunn does Suicide Squad 2, but yeah, really fun movie, really enjoyed the second half more than the first half. It's a great, really fun movie. I had an overall fun time watching this movie, save for the post credit scene, because even after 22 films, people still leave the theater before the, before the credits end. With a Marvel Cinematic Universe movie, you've got to stay to the end of the film to see the post credit stuff, and they actually have some really good post credit stuff to tease what's coming into the MCU from this point on. But I really enjoyed the movie. I'll probably see it again if I get a chance to. It's a really good film. I would have, it's a little bit better, I think, than Homecoming, I think, but, yeah, it's a great movie all around. Focus. In other words, I ain't going outside for a while. Looking dark out there. Here comes the rain again. That's the rain pouring outside. 
You know it's bad when you can hear the rain just pounding onto the ceiling. What's still going on? See, I don't even need to open the door to know it's still raining. But look at this. This is going on 30 minutes now. Looks like it's starting to die down a little bit, but I think there's more coming that way. And just like that, we're over at Half Price Books. Here's some interesting Cloverfield with a lenticular slipcover at the DVD. For only two bucks. I'm gonna have to get this. Great underrated movie here, The Big Year. Only three bucks. Let's see what else we got here. Underrated movie once or hour with Richard Dreyfus and Holly Hunt. Once upon a time in America. I heard about this movie, I never got around to seeing it though. Seven bucks, that's tempting. What else they got here? That's also pretty tempting, too. I don't think I have this version. Those two are def these two will be definitely maybes. I actually own this one, the Cloverfield DVD steelbook from FYE. This one is 10 bucks. I think mine still has the slip on it too. 
And then you have this movie. Oh, this movie was a disappointment. Well, this is interesting. This one's not even out on DVD. You're in the Super Bowl, Charlie Brown. Only I still had a working VCR to actually watch this with. Here's, it's Christmas time again, Charlie Brown. Yeah, man, that's a, this is a rare tape right here because this has not been released on DVD, and I think because the NF, I think the NFL has the rights to this. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. I'm not sure, but that's interesting. Okay, and doing a little more research on this, the NFL does have the rights to this, mostly because the logo and the punt and pass tournament is in this video, and I think Paramount and Warner Bro Paramount and then Warner Brothers would have to pay the royalties in order for this to be put on DVD, which I think, doesn't Warner Brothers own some of the NFL, I thought Warner Brothers put out some of the NFL DVDs recently, so, then again, that could be, that could be just in the past, so, so I don't know. I don't know, I might actually pick this up. Because if I do because I do have a working VCR, I just have to plug it in and everything. I think so. I might have to give this one a shot. Huh. I don't know, I'm actually have tempted to get this, I'm curious. You can see like fog all over the place. Look at all the trees like bent and everything. <laughs> I think they did say there were some trees down around here. You can see it on the roads. Hey guys, I'm back home from Half Price Books, and before we get to the stuff I got from there, I want to show you one thing I got on the internet this week, and I did get another Criterion Collection movie, and this one is for The Rock, which is of course the Michael Bay 1996 movie he did, and for the longest time I thought Armageddon was the only Criterion Collection movie that a Michael Bay film had, but apparently not, The Rock also got one too. This came in on Monday, and I only paid uh, well, technically it was three dollars, but sh after shipping and handling, it was like three forty-four more, so like six do six dollars for the whole thing. But still, pretty good for this, considering that a newer copy of this goes on Amazon for like twenty bucks. And I did check both of these discs; discs, they're good to go. Almost went, so almost said something I shouldn't have said, but but yeah, for three for about six bucks, that's actually pretty good for this. And pretty much everything I showed you from Half Price Books in that video in the video earlier is what I got. I'll show you the VHS I got first, which was the You're in the Super Bowl, Charlie Brown. There is a crack in the back of this. I didn't realize it until I got to the register, but that stuff in the little tape can fix on the inside. I could put some tape in there on the inside to fix that up, but yeah, for something that's not available on DVD because. Warner Brothers and Paramount would have to pay royalties to the NFL. I don't mind popping this into the popping on the old VHS again, the VCR VHS VCR again. Screw it, I'm keeping that in there. So there's that, and I had to unplug it when I when I got the PlayStation put put in a couple of years ago, but should be able to put that back in there with ease. So it'll be interesting to watch that again. And for a buck, it's not too bad of a deal. Uh, this one, I thought was weird. I thought it was an odd thing. Mostly because of one person who's in it, but... 
American Violence. It has uh, Boo Stern, Denise Richards, uh, Columbus Short, Michael Pore, and Rob Gronkowski of the New England Patriots. And there he is right there, and there he is on the back. I had no idea that Gronk actually st did star in a movie, so... I mean, this looks like a direct, some kind of direct to D some bad directed DVD movie, but he, you know what? It could be, it could be something. Like I'm, cur I'm more curious to see what he, do what Gronk does as an actor, because I think he can be a good. Is I think if he can, can he could probably be a good actor, but I don't know. For six bucks, I thought it was worth the risk to check out. Next up is Cloverfield, the Lenticular. DVD, which, like I said, I already own the Steelbook, but for only two bucks, and it's still in the packaging, no less. I just thought that was a pretty good deal. Plus, the Steelbook's kind of hard to get, to get, so in my collection. But yeah, for two bucks, I figure why not get why not get this? Especially since it's in the packaging still, so I could already tell that it's not completely damaged. And then the last thing I picked up was the Oath, which. I th remember seeing the previews for this last year. They didn't. It wasn't given a big release in theaters. A big release in theaters. I'm having trouble speaking today, but I thought the premise for this was kind of interesting. But basically, it's the, uh, Ike Barinholtz and Tiffany Haddish are like a couple, and they're having Thanksgiving dinner. But they there's some kind of oath going around where you can't talk about politics on Thanksgiving dinner. Here it even says back here. So what about how like. They're trying to avoid talking about politics on Thanksgiving, and they learn that citizens are being asked to sign a loyalty oath through a refusal to sign, along with the arrival of two government agents, since an already tense holiday day completely dinner completely off the rails. I'd never seen this before, but I thought the premise kind of was interesting, and for seven bucks for a newer movie, because this just came out last October, so I'm curious to check this one out. So, those are all the pickups I got this past week. But, the last movie I want to talk about is this one, which I talked about at the end of last week's episode of Ga It's Game Changers. I watched this as soon as I finished recording that last week's episode. I really did not enjoy this movie. Like, I really was kind of bored by it. I thought it would have been an interesting documentary considering I love game shows so much, but this movie really doesn't tell you everything that you don't already know about some of the biggest game show scandals and all that kind of stuff. And... I don't know, for, it didn't feel like a, an actual documentary that was intended to go to theaters or something like that, but like something you'd see as a documentary on the Game Show Network, like an originally produced special. But, yeah, this one kind of let me down a little bit. I was really disappointed by it. I thought that it should have been a lot better than it actually was, and I think I'm probably going to get this, get rid of this one. Maybe I'll get rid of it at the next Steel City Con, or... Maybe before then, because I think I'm going to take some of the DVDs that I'm... Like, double D DVDs and repackage that I'm going to replace with the these ones here. And I'm going to take them up to, like, the Exchange or Cash and Culture to get trade them in for something. Like, may, like when Avengers Endgame comes out, I think maybe that's what I'll do with some of the DVDs that I bu buy and some of the repackages here that, that will be replacing these. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me rephrase that. Like some of the like the repackages, like the Revenant and, and uh, Fury and all that stuff. Like these are gonna, these are what's going to be replacing those. Whenever I go th searching through them, more than likely the week of the Steel City Con, and this will probably be one of the things I get rid of. So very disappointed by this movie, unfortunately.